welcome back to Sucking on Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. Now I'm smiling today because I am putting myself into a challenge, something that I've never done before, a folklore of a dish, which is the Jamaican beef patty. I don't care how good you are as a chef, I think it's really hard to replicate what Juicy Beef or Tasties has done. Now, if you have a favorite party company, drop it in the comments and let me know, are you team Juicy or are you team Tasties? I used to be a big fan of Juicy, but now I'm a big fan of Tasties. Don't ask me why. Now, I remember growing up, I, hear, I heard some stories about um, how the company started. I don't really know if it's true because I did some research, but the story was there was a mom who made this very cheap and affordable dish and put in her son's lunch kit. Went to school with it. The other kids smelled this patty and they're like, yo, they wanted some. It became so popular, it sold a lot at school. I don't know how true that is, drop in the comments if you do know, but when I did check on Juicy's story, it did say at the age of 16, he started making patties and he would sell it in the grocery store and it became an instant hit. Maybe both stories correlate, I don't know. Now, what this dish is, it is just this perfect combination of a nicely seasoned ground beef that it has everything that's reminiscent of the Jamaican flavor profiles and I think there is a little hint of Chinese in there somewhere because both owners of Tasties and Juicy Beef I believe they are from Asian descent and then on the outside you have a flaky pastry or a puff pastry whichever one you want to categorize it as that everyone can associate with that's using French cuisine or whatever and when you pair both of them together I've never met an American who has tried a beef patty and said they did not enjoy it so let's get into the video if i fail i fail but i am going to try this is my very first time making a beef patty i did try it with my cousin once michelle but she was the one who was managing the kitchen anyway let's get into the video now today's video is sponsored by skillshare which is an online learning community for creative adventurers like us giving us an opportunity to learn creative skills like cooking from other creatives be honest, there's always something new to learn in the kitchen, or in my case, in the bush. What I love about Skillshare is that the classes are short but detailed. Currently, I'm watching Khaleesi's video on how to make a jerk sauce. Yeah, there's always more I can learn. Now, for the first 1,000 subscribers that clicks the link in the description box, you'll get a free trial of premium membership now let's start cooking all right so we have the basic ingredients we have flour we have salt we have well in this case this is curry um but people use turmeric but really it's for color that's what you're trying to get and i'm adding a little bit of honey because i'm trying to do mine rustic trying to do mine organic and um if you taste our beef patty it has a slight sweetness to the crust right around because right. it have a slight little right. sweetness so um i guess you can use sugar and replacement of that but i'm going for honey because i have that and i'm not using measurements bro there's some other stuff that we have too that you could use you have um shortening and butter but because it's hot out here i'm trying to manipulate the environment as best as i can so i won't leave it out here to melt um i'm just making enough patties for my cousin and i actually we actually ate patties this morning yeah we had some patties this morning so that was great my cousin brought some patties so um good reference. good reference you know as to what to even though we eat patties very often yeah, fresh, fresh mind, uh, i am just adding some salt to add salt not using a measurement so just now i just use like two pinches of salt uh, i don't want to want it to look too yellow but add some curry hopefully that's not too yellow This recipe calls for cold milk. I don't have that luxury. We have to think outside of the box. So I'm gonna knock a couple shavings of ice just to keep everybody as cool as possible. I'm not gonna get it perfect, but that's why I like cooking outdoors. It, it forces you to think, man. You gotta think. <laughs> and this is some cold milk. Not that cold, but better than nothing. Mm. 
So we're going to start working on our dough. And at this point, I'm going to get some, um, get some of the butter and the shortening. All right, so I have some butter, some shortening. I have to move really quick because this butter is anchor butter and that is some really rich butter, full of milk. So it's going to melt really fast. This is shortening or you can use lard. I think they're both the same thing. One is made from vegetable fat. One is made from, um, I think, animal fat. Drop in the comments if you know better. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is just to chunk these up. Again, I'm not using a recipe, just winging it. That looks like about, uh, I'd say about a heaped tablespoon of shortening. And for the butter, I'm going to do the same. So I'm doing it in smaller little section so it's manageable and they move around so the reason why I'm saving but the other half is because when I'm doing the folding process creating the layers for the crust I'm gonna need the butter and the shortening all right so my cousin is helping me big time on this one so I don't have to move <laughs> and returning stuff um, he does photography that's Dreams Production, yeah? Dreams underscore production. Dreams underscore production. You can find it on Instagram. So if you're in Jamaica, you want to take some photos, you can link him up. Prices are very affordable. And you see how my cousin roll already. Cool dude. I have the same vibes when I take the photography. So that in itself is a vibe. So I'm going to mix this up. But I normally make um, flour dumplings the same same vibe. I don't use my hands immediately. I normally um, use a fork to get rid of all of that stickiness. And then when the dough is kind of rolled up, that's when I, um, I will start to use my hands. All right, so now I'm at the part where I'm gonna need And I promise you the dough is cold. Still a nice and cold dough. You don't have to worry about the ice because they gradually push out. They won't mix with the, the dough. So they gradually keep it cool. It will dissolve, yes, and there's no problem because it's still water. But once you get it done to how you want to do it, you can just push out the ice them if they're left back and you'll be good. All right, so. Touch it though and feel how it feels. It's cold, it's cold. Is it cold? Weird. No. Cool. <laughs> so the dough is still cold. Nice I'm going to drop a little bit so it don't stick so much. Mm. And there are still little layers of um, lard or uh, shortening and butter still in there, which is what we want because that's what's going to create the crust. We're going to cover her down and cause. Drop her back into the cooler, please. What I like about this spot, I have my, my wash station right here, man. Literally. All right, so most persons will buy ground beef or mince or whatever. I think mince is like a mixture of beef and whatever else I want to throw into it. And ground beef, I don't know what you put into it. So I, I'm going to do mine differently. I want to know what's in my stuff. So I have some beef here that I'm going to 
grind up myself. It's gonna be a bit tricky because, um, of course, I'm gonna use my knife. And this beef has already been washed off, so I washed off already with um, water and vinegar. I don't know why, but people are always fascinated when they see Vanilla get food or when she doesn't. Something strange, but um, even when I recorded or don't record it, she always gets something to eat. So I don't want too much of these stuff on it. If I can get rid of any of the excess, I will. But I don't mind it too much. There's always a constant debate do you give your dog raw meat or should you should you not i think everything in moderation so most times she gets all that um dog kibble and the pedigree and whatever but that's how i feed her i feed her this um i think it's pure in a one with real meat so you can see like the lamb chunks in there and the chicken chunks or whatever but just the same way i'm doing the beef where i can see and i know that's what it is if I can give her beef and I know that's what it is, for sure, I'm going to do it. Alright, so we have our own little done up minced beef. So just back in my fridge over there. Thank you. And we're gonna wash this up and chop up the roast yellow pepper and also the garlic. Yo. I kid you not, nothing smells better than a roasted garlic, bro. <laughs> it smells so good.
So I chose to um, have the garlic roasted because I try to build some nice flavor, you see me? So I don't want it to just be a plain Jane type of thing. This is more like killing as well. You know, because as I said, I don't know what they put exactly in those beef patties, but them taste really good. So if I can make mine have even more of a good vibe, and sticking with Jamaican type of flavors but there's one thing I'm going to put into the, the dish that is Asian and the reason why I'm putting it in there because I'm sure they have something Asian in there would you agree? you feel like there's some kind of Chinese dish inside that patty? because I think taste is owned by both of them owned by Asian people yeah. I mean they're Jamaicans but I'm um, from Asian descent so. and you know fun, fun fact you know is it, it, um, like Clarendon and something like that. Clarendon, the juicy. Yeah, yeah. Juicy. Mm -hmm. That's where you're from, right? Yeah. Big up all the Clarendon people, them. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> up and running. Alright, so you guys can see the bit of charring that's in there. I don't have all in, but a bit of it that's gonna give off a nice little smoky flavor. Banging, yo. You guys know I'm a sucker for coconut oil. I'm sure, the original recipe doesn't call for that much. I like it. So really quick in here we have some chopped up shishito peppers, scotch bonnet, escalian. Um, I'll put everything in the description box so you guys can find it. I also have the amount that I put in this one. Right. Also fresh chopped up thyme everybody. I'll be in there. Around real quick. I didn't use any onions. I know probably some persons use onions, but I don't use any. Escalian and onion are kind of in the same family, so I'm going off of that vibe. Smell good, you know, man. Smell good. Oh, I'm gonna add our beef. Why I haven't seasoned up the beef because I always hear don't season before it enters the pot. But I always hear what to eat it for. Then I have my special seasoning blend. So I release it on the market. It's my special little blend. It has salt in, a bit of salt in there, but still, we're gonna add some salt. National colors are red, green, and gold. I said national colors referring to culinary colors, as in Jamaica. These are the colors that we go for. Once we see these, you know it's a very rich dish. You see my chopped up beef. Chop up nice, cuz. Oh. You and I know it's a real deal we're getting right now. And dance all. Red label wines, I think. I find it to be a good cooking wine, not too expensive. So I'm gonna add a little bit. That's gonna brighten up the color. And help to also tenderize the beef some more. 
Ada itu kita. Oh ni. Remember I said there is something kind of Chinese which about it. I'm gonna add a little bit of oyster sauce. Something Asian. Yeah. I love oyster sauce. I'm gonna add this a little bit. That oyster sauce gonna help a bit with the color. I did a beef patty. It's um more of a darker brown, right? First. But so far I'm hot with the consistency of the beef. Chopped up really good. Smells really good and it smells good. Even. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I like it. What's the name? A pre premium 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 patty? quality. Yeah, it's gonna be a premium patty. Premium patty. <laughs> uh, in Jamaica we like to use ketchup and those stuff. Yeah. But chopped up some tomatoes fine fine takes extra time i mean they can buy it from a can and whatever you can use it from the can i don't know i find like i get a better quality when i know where it's coming from from the market that i get the tomato and everybody that's gonna add with the filling it's gonna be a richer filling also add with the color that we're going for Browning, you know some man love the browning them. We're gonna add a little bit of browning to help bring up the color. Don't add too much, add as much as you need. make this jar down a little bit don't want too much gravy in there we just want enough all right This piece are now too big for this little okay, so What are you doing really? You're building up all these layers of fat. That's what you're doing. See those folds that you're creating? 
those folds should make the little flakes. Again, I'm outdoors. I don't know how good I can get it with harsher conditions. They want you want to use your cheese button. So we're just starting with one, just in case we have any errors. <laughs> you in charge of watching the party. If the party has burn up, you have burn up your party. <laughs> a test look because we don't want it okay mm. okay cover back though because it's already yet ah vibes you look nice though pretty oh quick question someone asked one time if vanilla how does she do out here and please and fix? Do you see any fix and fix? No, no, no. Va no, Vanilla is very well taken care of as it relates to fleas and those stuff. Uh, no, no fleas, nothing, nothing bad. And do I look a flea check? Flea check. No flea. <laughs> Coming along nice in the oven. Feel it up and see if. Um, is it right? Ooh, ooh. I might have a little 
to cross a gradual bill. Make sure that the underside not too hot. So it looks nice. Nice, yeah. And if you can eat it. No, sir, you want to cross up my nice, sir. Alright, lock him back down. So usually when Vanilla gets that active, if you look at her, her nose up in the air before, she's not doing any more. But there's some people that walk down by, so they're upwind, so them scent actually drip down to her, so she smell it, and she's getting a bit upset. It's like <laughs> she's an alarm clock. <laughs> All right, so our party is done. It smells good. It smells so good. You can hear the crust. <laughs> Gushing or cuz cuz take one, try one. Hmm. Smells amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Vanilla no say it smells amazing for sure. Why you Jeez, mm. it's really flavorful. A bit hot right now? It's hot. <laughs> mm. Why do you think about it? Outdoor greatness. Outdoor oh, greatness. Juicy beef. Taste this. Link up. <laughs> Vibes. I don't know what to say. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, even, oh it's, it's great. Oh, yo, it's, yo. I know it smells good. I can try a piece and tell you what I think. You see me? You can see some of the little individual flakes. What the flake in this field? I mean, it's, it's not really an oven oven with the out here, but it's not as flaky, but it's just flake. It's flaky, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they have more of an oven that are wicked. Mmm. Jeez, that it smells good. Mm. My gosh. So some fell on the ground and vanilla is here. <laughs> Yo, Dad, you soon get your piece vanilla. This premium. It's definitely a different kind of party. A very different kind of pattern. Good. Which is a pattern. As Cos said, not as flaky. But you can still see some of the flaky layers. The different layers. Like 
Yeah, buddy. All right, so I just did a little swim in that brick water and yeah, one last final party, splitting two. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video here. If you like this video, drop a like on the video. Also leave a comment and let us know. Cause final words, how was the party? It was so um, great. <laughs> Anyway, remember to see things, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link.